I was very curious about Everyone Says I Love You. This is a 1996 Woody Allen film, and I hadn't heard of this, but I read about it in an old Total Film magazine from 96, and in that magazine it said that a lot of the cast had agreed to the project, they'd been hired, but nobody had actually told them that it was a musical. And they had also obviously not done any screen tests or anything while singing or dancing, so a lot of them it wasn't really even known if they could perform in a musical. Despite that, I've seen it, and honestly, if I hadn't read that, I wouldn't have known. Not that I'm saying the vocal performances were some of the most astounding I've ever heard, or that the dance numbers were some of the most intricate, although the tap dancing I absolutely loved. I generally found it to be quite a pleasant film. And first of all, the cast are incredible. Standouts for me were... Woody Allen as Joe and Julia Roberts as Vaughn and the narrative is about a, a, a New York teenager who decides to set her father up with a woman who she knows because she observes her mother giving this woman therapy sessions. So she learns a lot about this woman by spying on her mother's therapy sessions and once I kind of got over the fact that that was an absolutely appalling thing to do, um, she begins to feed this information to her father. And her father doesn't know where she got the information from. So it's not like there's a moral dilemma for him in particular, but he accepts this information anyway. And he begins to instigate accidental encounters with this woman and begins to impress her with knowledge about her, not direct knowledge, but for example, if she's interested in in a particular artist or an art movement, he would read some books and learn about it and then talk about it if, as if it's something he's passionate about, trying to win her affection. I will say his behaviour was maybe a little bit over the top, like he did put a lot of time and effort into this just because his daughter says he should. I don't think his behaviour was necessarily that believable. But at the same time, I kind of got the impression that he was quite desperate for affection and somebody in his life. And, you know, Julia Roberts does play a very beautiful character. I can see the appeal. So maybe maybe he would put the extra effort in to get to know her um, or rather to encourage her to get to know him. It's and there's also a sub narrative about um, another teenager who is going to be getting married to somebody that she barely knows but then maybe maybe there are things that are going to consider um are going to encourage sorry her mind to think in other ways instead but certainly the narrative of joe trying to get to know vaughn and, and vice versa is definitely my favorite aspect and i actually genuinely enjoyed it it's a little cheesy the songs happen kind of sporadically the no musical numbers don't really have any logic to as and when they appear and I'm not going to pretend that it's an absolutely fantastic musical. In fact, I don't, I, I can't really say that I don't consider it a musical because by definition it is a musical. But they are random and quite few and far between that it just didn't really feel, it was easy to forget that it was a musical in between the musical numbers. And the songs themselves I didn't think were that engaging or that entertaining. So for me, while it wasn't a great musical, I actually found it to be quite an entertaining film and one that I'm happy to recommend. I didn't think I would end up feeling like this based on what I'd read in the Total Film magazine but I genuinely liked it. Everyone Says I Love You is actually surprisingly a pretty decent film.